here's a wonderfully illustrated book about snow. There's so many different things we can do when we have a snowy day, isn't there? This is written by Cynthia Ryland and illustrated by Lauren Stringer. Snow. The best snow is the snow that comes softly in the night, like a shy friend afraid to knock. So she thinks she'll just wait in the yard until you see her. This is the snow that brings you peace. And then there is the snow that begins to fall in fat, cheerful flakes while you are somewhere you'd rather not be. Maybe school, maybe work. And this snow tells you as it falls that it will send you home early. Don't worry, home is where you need to be and this snow will take you there. It will send you back over slippery white roads to the rooms you love so well and it will say that it is all right to be happy. Some snows fall only lightly, just enough to make you notice the delicate limbs of trees, the light falling from the lamppost, a sparrow's small feet. And some snows fall so heavy, they bury cars up to their noses and make evergreens bow and keep your kitties curled up a while. <laughs> Children love snow better than anyone does and they never complain as they pull on their red boots and mittens and make plans to catch wet flakes on their tongues and roll their small bodies to the bottom of a hill. Oh, doesn't that look like fun? The snow loves them back. It gives them angels and new friends. And the snow, while it is here, reminds us of this, that nothing lasts forever except memories. Oh, I love that this little girl is making memories with her grandmother. And while the snow is here, this brief moment, let us take a walk and see how beautiful the world is. And then come back to our white, quiet homes and make something warm to drink and maybe read or play a game or tell each other all that we've been thinking. The snow is falling while the flowers sleep and the sun sleeps and the soft green gardens are waiting. It is the snow's turn now. We'll watch it fall. Oh, Snow, a beautiful story about a little girl and her grandmother enjoying a wintry day. Our seasons are getting colder now, aren't they? I hope you enjoy the snow if you get snow where you live and that you make memories just like our main character did. Until next time, adios amigos. Bye-bye.